Through the history of the Eliza Bryant home, it has been people who are at the heart of its success and growth and have adapted to change. And we are not given the same pot of money that we have been in the past, although that the seniors are sicker. However, you have to be creative. We will find our way through our ingenuity to continue to support our mission. Unfortunately, the need will always be there. So it's incumbent upon us to be the sharpest when it comes to providing that care. We have elected to stay in the community that we are in, where other entities have moved after uh, the dollars, if you will, to the suburbs and to the private care side of the industry. The care at Elijah Bryan has changed for the better. They are no longer here just to rest. They're here to live a full, dignified life. And we see much less depression than we saw before. You can see people gone out of pearls, gone out of long dresses. There you have your jogging suits, your hats turned backwards, your tennis shoes on, and they want a happy hour. I can remember the first time I saw a resident going home again, and it was like a party. We stood at the door, and we waved, and we were just happy to see them go, because that gives your care a better acknowledgement. Eliza Bryant has become a multi-service facility and neighborhood center compassionately caring for the elderly, a place of choice for loved ones. I have brought family members here and I, and I would bring other family members here. And if I needed to be, I would, I would come for the care. My first instruction on how to care for people that lasted me throughout my entire career. One of those ladies who was really strict, she was like a nurse ratchet. And, and her shoulders were always straight and she never slumped and the uniform was pointing and, and starched every day, not a spot on it. I think she had about a fourth grade education, but her care for the people started me on my way. Recently, I had the opportunity to return that favor. She was a resident on our dementia unit. She no longer knew me, but I certainly knew her. And I had the opportunity to give her that dignified, compassionate care that she gave me. And to me, that was priceless. What began as a story of a small group of concerned women helping those in need has expanded to a physical presence within the heart of the African-American community in the Huff neighborhood. We're recognized by foundations such as the Cleveland Foundation, other centers. We're hoping it won't be the best kept secret in Cleveland. And I think it's not anymore. <laughs> With the nursing skills, we have first class service. One of the greatest treasures of the Eliza Bryan Village are the people who work here. They are just marvelous. I, I can't say enough about them. If I were to see Eliza Bryan today, I would say to her, we've exceeded your expectations. We are still serving the vulnerable population that you set out to at the beginning of your mission. I would say to Ms. Simmons, uh, because of your vision, the village is here. The village has multiplied over the years the people that are involved with Eliza Bryant, inspired by what the village has done over the years, inspired by your vision, inspired to want to help somebody as we pass along the way so that our living will not be in vain.